This is a public service announcement for all my theology geek friends. The Calvinism debate has become black magic. Let's talk about what I mean by that. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. So the Calvinism debate has become black magic that many of us resort to when blog hits are down. If you haven't had many views in the past couple of weeks, just sprinkle a little Calvinism, pro or con, doesn't matter, and the attention comes flooding. But is this the most important thing? The solution isn't to stop talking about soteriology, but to start talking about other more important issues as much or probably more. For example, what about atheism or agnosticism? Whether you're a Calvinist or not, your opponent in this area isn't going to hell necessarily because of their doctrine on this issue. But atheists and agnostics who don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, frankly, they are. And so they warrant more of our time. As a Christian apologist, I often hear pastors and lay church people say that apologetics is just too hard to learn. But I promise you that learning to handle the theistic arguments and the resurrection evidence is not more difficult than learning how to talk about the ordo salutis, trans world depravity, compatibilism, or a host of other concepts that arise as the subject of Calvinism is broached. You can learn to talk about apologetics, and if as much effort was put into learning how to do that as is put into arguing over this theological construct, maybe some of our freshman college students who were in the church wouldn't be leaving the church. Or what about false doctrine? Now, while there are a great number of evangelicals who quietly believe that their opponents in the Calvinism debate are guilty of some heresy or other, there's no doubt about it, whether your opponent in this area is a Calvinist or not, he's a lot closer to the truth than Muslims, Mormons, Jehovah's Witnesses, Hindus, Buddhists, or a host of other people who believe in and teach false doctrine. It blows my mind that we theology geeks in the evangelical world are putting more emphasis on responding to how somebody else understands the word election or predestination than we are in responding to the false claims of Islam, for example. Or what about evangelism? I'll say exactly what you would expect from a loudmouth, leather-lunged, red-faced evangelist. Look, people need Jesus more than they need John Piper or Kenneth Keithley, and both men would agree. So before you sprinkle a little black magic on your blog article or Facebook feed, why don't you ask yourself whether you just did that yesterday? And I'm not saying we shouldn't talk about these issues. I myself write on it somewhat regularly. But I try to keep several other articles or podcasts in between my rants on this topic. This is also good advice for anyone else who's into some other subcategory within theology, like eschatology, for example, or the miraculous sign gifts. And let's share and retweet articles and videos that touch on other issues not directly related to the Calvinism debate. We don't want to become intoxicated by black magic.